Hello students. Today I will discuss the free convection. Then in that dimensional analysis applied to the free convection. That is what is the relationship between the non-dimensional numbers, the set number, Prandtl number and cross-up number. In this one, the cross-up number is used instead of the Reynolds number in the force convection. Because in this velocity is not involved, the buoyant force is involved in the force free convection for the moment of the fluid. In the force convection, the velocity is induced to moment of the fluid for to carry the heat. For that purpose, here the whatever the relationship is there for the free convection, okay, for the non-dimensional number relationships, that can be written as Nusselt number is equal to function of Prandtl number and the Grossop number. And here, whatever this free convection is there, that free convection is having the variables. That variables here the density of the fluid, viscosity of the fluid, specific heat, thermal conductivity of the surface and a summation of beta and delta T. This is the term the term is the buoyant force and that buoyant force later we will discuss that when what is the buoyant force is there okay and the heat transfer coefficient in case of the natural or free convection depends upon the variables phi rho k mu c p l or d here if it is a tube diameter we are going to take l length if it is a plate then phi whatever is there velocity here that is a buoyant force we are going to consider then that later in this one initially we will take this one phi and later that will be converted into buoyant force only. Then since the fluid circulation in free convection is owing to difference in density between the various fluids, fluids layers due to temperature gradient and not by external agency. The heat transfer coefficient uh, h may be expressed as follows. Here the heat transfer coefficient h is a function of uh, that is a rho L, v, mu, C, P, K, G, beta, delta T, beta G, delta D. This is the buoyant force and this can be again expressed in this one as a function of rho, L, mu, K, H, C, P, beta G, delta T and this is the buoyant force. This parameter beta D, delta T represent a buoyant force and the, has dimensions of the L, T raised to minus 2. And here this number of variables, this together buoyant force is one variable only and this is total variables 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 variables are there. Total number of variables for the pre-convection are 7. The fundamental dimensions or fundamental quantities in the problem are ml, t, theta, hence m is equal to 4. Okay, the fundamental dimensions or fundamental quantities are the m l t theta that is a mass length time and the temperature okay then number of dimensional spy terms number of dimensional spy terms those are the number of variables minus of the number of fundamental dimensions that is 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 and this equation according to buckingham's phi theorem we can write the function of this all the three pi terms okay is equal to three and here out of these uh, number of variables we have to take the repeating variables and these repeating variables we have to take and after taking that one we have to write the pi terms to write that one we choose the repeating variables are rho l mu k okay mu k l v we have taken for this uh, uh, force of convection here mu k l rho we are going to take that is a mu is a chemical k is a thermal property l is a dimensional or geometric property uh, rho is the flow property here then due to the density difference only flow is taking place that's why the flow property rho we are going to take instead of the velocity as the core group or a repeating variables uh, we can call as a core group also repeating variables also with unknown exponents okay exponents uh, we are going to take those are unknowns the groups to be formed are now represented as following pi groups now whatever the groups will form those are the pi terms 
ఫస్ట్ టర్మ్ పై టర్మ్ పై వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు రో రేస్ టు ఏ వన్ ఎల్ రేస్ టు బి వన్ ఓకే మ్యూ రేస్ టు సి వన్ కే రేస్ టు డి వన్ ఇన్ టు హెచ్ ద అదర్ త్రీ వేరియబుల్స్ దోస్ ఆర్ రిమైనింగ్ హెచ్ సిపి జి బీటా డెల్టా టి ఓకే దీస్ ఆర్ ద టర్మ్స్ రిమైనింగ్ ఓకే ఫస్ట్ విల్ టేక్ హెచ్ ఓకే ద ఫస్ట్ ఫైవ్ టర్మ్ హియర్ ద వాట్ ఎవర్ దిస్ రో ఇస్ ద ఎంఎల్ రేస్ టు మైనస్ త్రీ లెంత్ ఇస్ ఎల్ మ్యూ ఇస్ ఎల్ ఎంఎల్ రేస్ టు మైనస్ వన్ టీ రేస్ టు మైనస్ వన్ అండ్ దిస్ కే ఇస్ ఎంఎల్ టీ రేస్ టు మైనస్ త్రీ టీటా రేస్ టు మైనస్ వన్ డి డి రేస్ టు డి వన్ ఇన్ టు హెచ్ ఇస్ ఎం ఎల్ రేస్ టు మైనస్ త్రీ టీటా రేస్ టు మైనస్ వన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఈక్వేటెడ్ టు దిస్ టర్మ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎం రేస్ టు జీరో ఎల్ రేస్ టు జీరో టీ రేస్ టు జీరో టీటా రేస్ టు జీరో దెన్ నౌ ద వాట్ ఎవర్ దిస్ ఇండైసెస్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఆర్ ద ఎక్స్పోనెంట్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ బ్యాలెన్సింగ్ దోస్ ఎక్స్పోనెంట్స్ ఓకే దెన్ ఫార్ ఎం ఓకే దిస్ సైడ్ జీరో ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎం ఏ వన్ అండ్ దెర్ ఇస్ నో ఎం టర్మ్ ఇయర్ ప్లస్ సి వన్ ప్లస్ డి వన్ ప్లస్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో అండ్ ఫార్ ఎల్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఫార్ ఎల్ జీరో ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ త్రీ ఏ వన్ బి ప్లస్ బి వన్ ఓకే ప్లస్ బి వన్ మైనస్ సి వన్ ప్లస్ డి వన్ మైనస్ త్రీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ త్రీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఎంఎల్ మైనస్ త్రీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో మైనస్ త్రీ ఇయర్ వి షుడ్ టేక్ దాట్ వన్ ఓకే ఇయర్ సంథింగ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ టేకన్ దెన్ టి హియర్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో టీ టర్మ్ మైనస్ సి వన్ మైనస్ త్రీ డి వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో దట్ ఈజ్ then last one the theta term this is minus d1 minus 1 is equal to 0 therefore d1 is equal to minus 1 d1 is equal to minus 1 that one we are going to get then d1 is equal to minus 1 if you take here then d1 minus 1 here if you substitute minus minus c1 is equal to 0 we got here and here uh, then c1 and d1 if you substitute in this equation the b1 we are going to get 1 then a1 in this one if you substitute all the three a1 the first here c1 is equal to 0 d1 is equal to minus 1 this minus minus get cancelled c also 0 then first pi term l the in this one we have to substitute this okay l l uh, in this equation phi term we are going to substitute that one l k raised to minus 1 h okay then after that that can be first term by written as the hl by k that is the nascent number okay then second one second pi term here ml that is a repeating variable second one what we have taken that is the second one cp for that cp is l square t raised to minus 2 theta raised to minus 1 then equating exponents of the m l t theta respectively we get here okay first one a2 plus of c2 plus of d2 plus no that is equal to 0 for l it is a minus 3 a2 plus b2 minus c2 plus of d2 plus of minus of 2 uh, sorry plus of 2 is equal to 0 for t here minus c2 minus 3 d2 minus 2 is equal to 0 and d2 is equal to 1 for this one minus d2 is equal to minus d2 minus 1 is equal to 0 then d2 is equal to minus 1 we are going to get here that you substitute d2 is equal to minus 1 okay in this equation and here the c2 term is there minus t2 if you substitute here and in this one uh, in this one c minus t2 if you substitute then minus c2 we are going to get 1 then c2 and d2 if you substitute in this equation that a2 is equal to 0 we are going to get then in this equation if you substitute all the three a2 c2 d2 b2 we are going to get the 0 then second pi term pi2 is equal to if you substitute here in this equation the exponents or indices what are there then mu k raised to minus 1 cp we are going to get pi 2 is equal to mu cp by k the mu cp by k is the prandial number 
Then third point term here m raised to 0, l raised to 0, t raised to 0, theta raised to 0. That is equal to here all we are going to substitute and this one term whatever is there beta g beta delta t we are going to get g beta delta t it's a buoyant force it's that are dimensions what are there l t raised to minus 2 then equating exponents of m l t theta we get here for m a 3 plus of c 3 plus of d 3 that is equal to 0 ok then for l it is a minus a 3 minus 3 a 3 plus b3 minus c3 plus d3 plus 1 is equal to 0 then for t here t minus c3 minus 3 d3 minus 2 is equal to 0 then d2 d3 here d3 only that is d3 is equal to 0 that is d3 is equal to 0 then d3 directly we got 0 here the second term here if d3 is equal to 0 if you substitute c3 is equal to minus 2 c3 is equal to minus 2 this 0 if you substitute a3 is equal to 2 then the here we will substitute if you all a3 b3 c3 and d3 then b3 we are going to get the 3 then from that one substituting all these pi the third pi term we are going to get that is a rho square l cube mu raised to minus 2 into b g beta delta t then this if you simplify that one g beta delta t rho square l cube and rho square in the denominator if you send that is mu square by rho square that is equal to nu square then g beta delta t l cube by nu square and this term is a gross up number g beta delta t l cube by nu square is a gross up number thus if you equate all these three first one pi 1 is equal to function of the pi 2 pi 3 that is pi 1 is a natural number function of Prandtl number into gross up number this is expressed as in terms of the constants the natural number is equal to c into Prandtl number raised to n gross up number raised to m where gr is a gross up number hence here the uh, C, N, M are the constant and may be evaluated experimentally for the particular case. This is the explanation uh, for the uh, dimensional analysis for this uh, pre-convection. Okay, I will stop here only the numericals I will continue in the next.